If you're wondering how I keep my carriages and trains, I keep them all here. I'm in professional. There. They shouldn't really be on there either they live in another box. And uh over there. Yes, what's in there, that's my Intercity 125. In the Intercity 125 livery. Now those two do live in the that box, but they're so small and then that box is just a really big castle to get them out. So I'm probably going to start keeping them in these. Yeah. Now, well, I'll just take you over here first. So now, here is, actually, first, I'm going a bit. First, I haven't quite worked out where to store these yet, because the packaging is so much here. I'm probably just going to cut, cut along there. But I don't have a place to get them. Hopefully, I'll get another one of those. So, I have five. <laughs> I mean, you get five and 20 pounds is amazing. Right, so here I have my mixed goods set. But as you know, the engines are down there. And here's Pendolino. Now, here I've got my Virgin HST, my Class 150, my Class 350, my Intercity 125 and Intercity 125 livery, my Class 168, which is Chilton. My Class 31, I think it is. There. And then I've got some Mark II coaches, Mark II coaches, Mark III coaches. And over there, that's not an official storage place, that's my sleeping, official sleeping place. But that's currently where the Mark I coaches are. <laughs> okay, and this is my model zone carriage. Not carriage, but cart or wagon, as it's officially known. And that is my other coach, which I like to win with that one. Now, there's one I missed out on purpose. That's the train I had to show you today. It is this one by Helgen. Now, this is my only Helgen train at the moment. Just put the tripod up. I am very impressed with it. Really good quality. I haven't run it that many times. So, I'm sitting on this video, aren't I? am sitting on this. Anyway, this is a Helgen. Yeah. You know the thing about the box is if it has all the carriages, it's quite hard to cut out. Now it is DCC ready and it has been DCC fitted with a 21 pin DCC chip which are really expensive and especially with the Hornby Select controllers have to use the Hornby DCC chips and they're really expensive because you, for the back man, batch man or have you say ones you have to turn back EMF off and you can't do that with the Hornby Select controller and that's very annoying. I know this is exclusive to Model Zone and it is limited edition. It is limited to 500 this one and... In here is my certificate to prove it. There we go. Aero gauge RTC belts. I need to find out what RTC stands for though. And then it says this model is made by Helgen exclusively for Model Zone. Here we administration. Otherwise, it's quite nice. And this is number 10 out of 500. Now, the only number which could be better is 20, but. It's just a number. I don't know why I care about it. But tens around a number, so I like it. Now what I really like about this Helgen thing is the information which comes with it. We're not about the power trend use, but how they give you step by step instructions to the DCC chip. I mean that is just incredible. All the other trains you have to like look online or look at some pictures to find out the DCC chip might be hidden. This one they tell you where it is. I'll show you in more detail once I got out of the box. Now it's in this leaf type packaging which I quite like because it's really secure in the box. And there's the train. Now these are some foot 
steps, I think. But I'm not going to bother putting them on. Because <laughs> I don't want to. Now. You, you can see. There's like a little mark there. Well, not a mark, but rim around the edge. And that's because to get to the DCC chip. You firstly take off those two horns. There's a screw which you can do. You have to take off the handlebars which are really hard to get back on. And uh That is really hard. Anyway, you take those both on both sides and it's missing on the other side. Oh. I think I've spotted the other handlebar. Now if any parts ever come off your train, you might want to keep them somewhere safe. The best place to keep them safe is in the end there for this type of packaging. Otherwise it's best to put in the bowl or something. Anyway, just a glass with my eye, sorry. Tired still. <laughs> As I'm filming this straight after my East Coast one move about three minute break packing baby boxes. Anyway, then you can then you have to tug and tug and get the half of the coach off. And then there's a protector here which you have to take off with screws. And then you turn it around and then you DCC chips there, you take off the blanket plane, put it in. Quite complicated and then you have to put it all back which is the hardest part of life, putting things back. So I'm just going to put that in the sleeve for now. The handlebars, you can't really glue on because then you can't hardly access the chip. So that's, oh, I mean, I've got the hiccups, I think. That's to be annoying. If I have got the hiccups, I'll stop recording. Anyway, that is the Helgen Railbus, and this one's for Laboratory 20. Now, I've heard on the well, places online that it isn't that real to the real version, but I have no idea because I was not alive to see the real one. I'm only 14 now. Anyway, so there's a DCC jacket here, which is rather strange because it seems like just plastic. I don't get them. And due to another YouTube channel recommending it, I don't actually put them in. I don't. YouTube is very useful to learn about model railways. You can listen to other people's advice and tips. Anyway, time for this tray. Now, this is what the DC should put in. And as you can imagine, out of all the numbers in the world, the 50 numbers you can use for the select controller, I have I have actually chosen the number 20. I don't know why I chose 20, but I think it's something to do with calling Laboratory 20. I think I'm not too sure though. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it is 20 because we bought it 20. Anyway, so it is number 20. And it has got lights on it. There we go. They don't have re it doesn't have rear lights because I've read it. We haven't changed the details, have you? I have to do that first. Now, it doesn't have a rear light because apparently they'd use the oil type lamp or just stick it on the front. So it doesn't actually have that. But. Oh, the detail is great, I think. <laughs> you've, got, you've even got your little thing there. Now, it hasn't got any couplers, but that's to make it even more realistic because the actual one didn't have couplers in real life. Okay. To make sure that track's definitely straight because this one's very fussy and easy to see rail. And. Here we go. If you heard that, I'm not sure whether you're not. It ran into that. Luckily, it didn't derail, and it's quite soft, so it should cause much harm.
And there we go, that's for Laboratory 20. Limited to models only, limited to 500. And it's a really nice try and it's definitely one of the best I've thought. So, until next time, actually, that's to say again, because I'm going out and filming some real trains. But anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.